Shoney's is an American restaurant chain that opened in 1947. Thank you for your suggestion. Shoney's introduces new stir-fry dinners in chicken or beef, just $4.99. Sorry, chopsticks not included. <laughs> Very funny. Have you ever wondered what makes Shoney's servers smile so much? Probably my good looks. Is there a breeze in here? In 1947, Alex Schoenbaum opened the Parkett Drive-In next to his father's bowling alley in Charleston, West Virginia. After meeting with Big Boy founder Bob Wyan in 1951, Schoenbaum became a Big Boy franchisee on February 7, 1952. He now started calling his several locations the Parkett Big Boy Shops. Two years later, he established his own restaurant concept, which, as a result of an employee contest, took on his nickname, Shoney's. In fact, in May of 1954, it was a public Name the Parquet Big Boy contest that had been announced, and in June of 1954, Schoenbaum's five Parquet drive-ins were rebranded as Shoney's. Shoney's, a.k.a. the Parquette, was originally the big boy franchisee for West Virginia. However, Schoenbaum rapidly grew the chain through sub-franchising, expanding his big boy territory through the southeastern United States, except for Florida, which was owned by Frisch's Bob's Big Boy. Schoenbaum's earliest sub-franchisees operated under their own names. But after 1959, all subsequent franchises were named Shoney's Big Boys. In 1971, Nashville-based Shoney's operator Raymond Danner acquired Schoenbaum's company to form Shoney's Big Boy Enterprises, Inc., a publicly held company. With Danner as president and CEO, Schoenbaum became chairman of the board of directors. As director of a public company, Schoenbaum was forced to close his personally owned Shoney's No. 1, the original Parquet Drive-In, by 1975. In 1976, good year, five years after being renamed Shoney's Big Boy Enterprises, Inc., stockholders approved changing the name to Shoney's, Inc. Shoney's said this reflected the company's diverse food service brands but added, Shoney's is not the southern reincarnation of Frisch's big boy. Schoenbaum's wife, Betty, said the change would permit Shoney's to continue expansion beyond the boundaries of its big boy territory. After Big Boy was removed from the company name in 1976, the big boy was becoming less and less prominent at Shoney's disappearing completely from the company's 1983 annual report. Once called a meal in one on a double-deck bun, a company official now called the big boy hamburger a depression burger, a lot of bread, and no meat. Following the March 1984 federal court ruling favoring Shoney's, Marriott Corporation, then the owner of the big boy trademark, negotiated a settlement that would allow Shoney's to buy out its big boy franchise agreement. In April of 1984, Shoney's withdrew from the big boy system, paying Marriott $13 million. At the time, Shoney's was the largest big boy franchise with 392 Shoney's big boy restaurants, representing more than a third of the national big boy chain. Like the former big boy stores, 
the Danners Town and Country Units, a sister company chain who shared the same parent company, were renamed simply Shoney's. Additional Shoney's restaurants opened in Fritch's Big Boy Territory, three in the Cincinnati area, with plans to open three more annually until the market was saturated. In April of 1989, a class action lawsuit was filed in Pensacola, Florida, charging Shoney's with widespread racial discrimination where African-American applicants were denied employment and the African-American employees were denied promotion, harassed or terminated without cause based on race, and that white managers were harassed or terminated for objecting to the pre practices. In 1993, the court approved an award of $105 million 132.5 million, including costs and fees, the largest discrimination settlement at the time. Among an estimated 40,000 people in the class, compensation was awarded to every African American person employed at Shoney's company owned restaurants between February 4, 1985, and November 3, 1992. 11 people received a maximum of $100,000. The suit included company-owned food service operations such as Shoney's, Captain D's, and Lee's Famous Recipe, but excluded franchise restaurants. At its peak in 1998, the restaurant chain operated or franchised over 1,800 restaurants in 34 states. In 2000, the company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection and was acquired by Texas-based investment group Lone Star Funds two years later. On January 1, 2007, Lone Star announced that the Shoney's chain, and at this point down to 272 restaurants, was being sold to David Davidpour, founder and CEO of the Atlanta-based Royal Capital Corporation the largest franchisee of Church's Chicken Restaurants. At the time of the purchase, there were 61 corporate-owned stores. Davidpour began purchasing franchise locations and rebranding the restaurants, including offering new menu items and upgrades to individual locations. In January 2014, Shoney's opened a location in the Sugarloaf Mills in Georgia. The restaurant served as a prototype for the company brand, offering alcohol service and being the company's first mall-based location. At the time of the opening, Shoney's operated 165 restaurants in 16 states. In 2017, the chain began modernizing locations with a contemporary look. As of 2019, Shoney's operates locations in 17 states. It also has Shoney's on the go for takeout orders, which is used in smaller locations such as malls and airports. So what are some of your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.